Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. This is Kevin247. Please smash that like button, subscribe. Coming to you guys today from a completely different location. I mean, granted, I am in my car, but I'm not normally where I would record in my car because I'm actually sitting here. And it is roughly uh, 8.25. I was going to say 9.25, but I'm still on Eastern time. I need to switch my watch back an hour to get back on Central time. The weather here is wet, gloomy, dark, but uh, hey, you know, it's still not terrible. Uh, looking forward to the sun coming back out, and I want to actually get a chance to go get back on the beach. Maybe I can bring you guys with me. If you would like another video from the beach or maybe even a live stream from the beach, then just let me know. Drop a comment down below. The reason why I'm sitting here is because I'm actually waiting on a tow truck because my van has died. Uh, my Class B van died. Uh, if you guys have been following all along on Scroll Tribe Life, then you know. If you want to know more about the whole van situation, then come on over to Scroll Tribe Life. And you will get the full story as we work to get the van oper op in operation or operable or operating again. And uh, today, today was just a series of unfortunate events. You wake up and it's wet and it's rainy. And then I get to my U-Haul facility where it's stored and the gate's broken. So I had to drive around to the other side. I get around to the other side and the keypad's broken, but the gate works. So then I got to drive back around to the front and confirm my card access still works, which it does. But the keypad card reader doesn't work. So I had to get a code so I can type the code in to get in the gate and then drive back around over here and then wait for the tow truck to show up so I can let the tow truck in. You know, but hey, uh, first world problems, right? And uh, I think that's kind of really important when we look at what's happening that is not necessarily in our control, uh, which ironically we ended up watching Leave the World Behind last night. Really interesting movie. And uh, there are a lot of dynamics there amongst the characters, which... Even if we're not in an uh, EL, an e extinction level event, you know, last days, um, you know, on the verge of total collapse, there's still going to be some folks out there who are going to treat these situations differently because of their own personal experiences, their own personal readiness, their own personal preparedness, their own personal worries, fears, and anxiety and ability to cope with stress and cope with uh, the unknown and cope with potential threats and challenges and also misinformation and disinformation, which I don't want to give away any secrets to the movie. I don't want to give away the ending that everybody was talking about. Um, and it had to end at some point, right? But uh, interestingly enough, I'm seeing that now more and more with every video upload, with every comment that comes in. YouTube has opened up a little bit and has probably pulled back a little bit or on the restrictions. They were pulling back on the reins a little bit for a while there. Sarah knows what I'm talking about. But they've opened up a little bit and let my videos out and let you guys see them, subscribe to the channel, stay subscribed to the channel, even though some people are still being unsubscribed from the channel. Uh, so check and see if you're still subscribed. If not, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to reach a million subscribers. Every subscriber counts. Thank you guys for your support. And uh, the comments, I'm getting more comments. A lot of the comments are really, really good comments. And I'm not saying that they're good like Kevin, great job, or Kevin, we agree with you, or thumbs up, or first, or anything like that. I'm just saying that they're good comments in regard to stimulating thought and further developing the dialogue and the conversation and discussion that ultimately should lead to becoming better prepared, right? Because if you've watched Leave the World Behind, you can understand how you're never really ever truly going to be ready ever, okay? At least I don't think. But the more you know, the better off you'll be. And that pretty much goes across the board 
with anything. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this analogy without giving away the movie, which honestly I don't think I can. You really have to watch the movie, the entire movie from beginning to end, and pay attention to what's going on. Uh, I will say that extremely impressive camera work and transitions uh, on the videography. Uh, on the cinematography and videography of that movie unbelievable just epic uh but either way uh there's a term and this term apparently came out of san francisco first and i feel like this term applies to some of the folks out there that are leaving comments on these videos and some of the folks out there who are you know going through their lives day to day uh with this 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 attitude of despair and absolutely no hope whatsoever and it's called a doom loop okay and this is worse now than it has ever been before because now we can't even take the information that is being shared i'm not saying everybody i'm just saying we in regard to the folks that want to leave these comments we can't even take the information that's being shared, whether it's right, whether it's wrong, whether it's true, whether it's false, whether it's misinformation or disinformation, whether it's speculation, whether it's hearsay, whether it's whatever it may be. We can't even take this information and discuss it here and get the thumbs up and the green light from, you know, big brother watching over us, YouTube to get these videos out there and now we're getting hit with the opposition in the comment section that are saying oh no you don't know what you're talking about or oh no this is just fear or oh no you know you're just mongering or oh no whatever whatever so here's the deal if you don't have anything to actually bring to the conversation then i have to assume that you are stuck in a doom loop i have to assume that you have your head in the sand I have to assume that you're just afraid because you just want to deflect and uh, brush off and pretend like there's nothing wrong, even though there is something wrong, but you want to attack those who are discussing the problem, ultimately seeking a solution or possible solutions in a negative way, you know, and that's ultimately going to leave you into a certain section of character dynamic in regard to how you're going to behave in the event of a catastrophic event and also how others are going to respond to you where you at that point reach out extend an olive branch and step on somebody's front porch and then they respond with uh, a racking of a shotgun so just putting it out there uh so you guys are aware so you know i also think that maybe the fourth option is they're not real or they're hired paid actors. There are bots in the comments. We've been through the bot situation in 2023. I think it's somewhat improving as we move forward with a lot of changes that YouTube is implementing. But bots are real and bots are going to change their objective and how they look and appear and their seemingly their effectiveness. And I wouldn't put it past some of these um, bad actors out there who literally want to take down the world and see people at their worst, uh, pit them against each other. I wouldn't put it past them for them to spend time, effort, energy, money, resources to create these bots for the sole purpose of trying to get me to stop sharing this information with you uh, and or for the purpose of trying to disprove what I am saying, which I'm not making any of this up. You guys can check, trust but verify, see it for yourself. These are things that are happening. We just come here to discuss them, okay? I don't make the news. I just share some of the stories. And I don't even really want to say I report the news. I just want to talk to you guys like regular people, have a conversation towards creating effective and meaningful change because I know a lot of folks out there want that. They need that. They don't have other people to talk to in that regard. And this can be that outlet. And uh, I think effective communication is going to be the key. Uh, somebody asked me yesterday, is like, can you tell me more about ways I can make more money this year? Can you tell me more ways about how I can get a better job, improve my credit? 
uh, work from home, start a side hustle, uh, a job or a career path that I can choose or, you know, some con- some education, some training that I can get certified in so that I don't have to worry about AI taking my job. This st- this is the result of having the discussions and conversations about what we are being told and shared in the news so that we can get better prepared, even if they're lying to us. We still have to have a plan. We still have to have a strategy. And if you're stuck in that doom loop, then that's not good. That's not good at all. I think the tow truck just drove by. But either way, uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys uh, and let you know uh, I'm not going to stop. Uh, I'm not going to let these folks try to, you know, tear me down and prevent me from doing what I think needs to be done and saying what I think needs to be said. And if you guys uh, want to be a part of that, then please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys real soon. Take care.